what's up everyone this reflex once again taking you a tutorial this time around on typography not on smudge painting so i decided to just branch a little bit out of smudge painting actually i did smudge picture but i just decided for you guys to learn a new skill apart from smudge painting which i find very very interesting which is the typography so let's keep the talking for now let's jump straight into business we are going to be using our pens our text tool simultaneously we are going to be using my text tool mostly in this our tutorial so you can go to our text tool by clicking on t or you can just go here and select our text tool so the words i'll be writing now will be based on what i'm doing i'm a small artist uh, I'm a photographer, I'm a video editor, I'm an artist on my own, I'm a graphic designer. So I'm going to be writing everything I do here, even though things I don't do. So just to make the story a little bit more interesting. So first let me just write, I I will be using capsule letter for all my works. You can try to use small letter or any one you wish to use. And the font I'll be using will be area. I'll make my font area 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 bold so I'll start with I cap lock sorry I am I am reflex reflex I am a photographer I am I am an editor I am a YouTuber So let me just decrease the font a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. I'll go to my window, under window, choose my character. Then I reduce the font to 6. As you can see, this is what I'm writing right there. But it's a little bit too tiny, so let me increase it to 8. Okay, I think I like it being at 8 right now. So I'll still go back to the text again. Then continue from where I left off. Okay. I am a graphic designer designer so I will align it to the top so I can start to write another thing on the second line or I can leave it like this then duplicate this one till it gets to the bottom so let me use another thing for the other one Go to my text again by click, clicking on T. Okay, now let me write again. I am a good boy. I am humble. I am a student. I am an editor. I am a web designer designer so I can start to write so many things there or I can stop with this one sorry my web designer is not correct web designer web, web designer So, so, so on and so forth, I can just write anything at the edge here. Then I will use my navigational key to move it closer to one another. As you can see. But I think the space within them is too much. So I can come to right there, then reduce it. I think 40 is okay. As you can see. It has become much closer to each other now so I'll go to the other one to reduce it by 40 40 as you can see I think it's still better 
so what I'll do now is I'll duplicate everything I've written so far. So I will, I will duplicate them by clicking on the boots, then Ctrl J to duplicate them. So I'll drag them down with my navigation keys. Once I'm done with that, I still Ctrl J again to drag them down a little bit. Then I'll merge the four that I've created, merge them together by pressing Ctrl E, then duplicate them again by pressing on Ctrl J. Ctrl J to duplicate them once more. Then I still use my navigation key to drag them down. Okay, I'll see Ctrl J again till I get to the bottom of it. Ctrl J again. So I'll keep doing that till I get to the last. Still click on my Ctrl J. I'll still click Ctrl J again. Once I get to the bottom of what I'm doing, then I will leave it. Okay, I still click on Ctrl J. I'm almost there. I'll still click on Ctrl J for the last time. So I think you've gotten to the bottom right now. So what I'll do now is I will match everything all together. I will select everything and make them together by still pressing Ctrl E again. Wait for it to load. Okay, so this is our text layer over here. So the next thing I will do right now is to write my name to be very bold at the middle of what I'm writing now. So I'm going to off this layer for now. To go to my text again by clicking on C. Then I'll write I am Reflex. That's my brand, brand name, of course. So I'm using my brand. You can use anything you want. You can use this is me, this is that, so so and so on and so forth. So I'm going to write in I am Reflex. Uh, the way I wrote this thing, when I wrote I, I click my Enter key to jump to the next line. After that, I wrote my am. So I still use my enter key to go to the last page, then I wrote reflex. So I'll click on my pixel, to then go to my character style. Then I'll change the the alignments to center alignments. Go to the paragraph, make it center alignments. This time around, I'm going, I'm not going to use the font I'm using before. I'll look for a font uh, that will go in line with what I just wrote. You can use any font on your system, but I have a specific one I'm using for mine right now, which is called the Comic Sans MC. So this is the one I'll be using right now. So I'm going to increase the fonts. Let me make it 2018. Let me make it 20. Let me make it 36. Okay, I think that this is okay for now. So I'll drag it to the middle. For now, so the next thing I will do now is to write another another text again. Okay, I'll write a photograph at the left, right, left hand side, right hand side. I'll write a videograph at the. So to my left hand side, let me go to my text again. This time I'm reducing my font size to 24. Let me write photographer, photographer. But the text is still too big. Ctrl A to highlight all, then reduce the fonts to 16. I think 16 is okay by me. Then click on my pick two. Then I'll Ctrl T on it to turn it 90 degree. I think it's okay like this. Then I use my navigation key to drag it to the left a little bit. Once I'm done with that, I hit my OK button. Then I go to my text again by still hitting on my C key. So this time around, I'm writing videographer. Videographer. So I'll still rotate it again. Ctrl T also. I'll rotate it. 
still 90 degree still 90 degree then I'll drag it up to the other side then I click my OK once I'm done so after that I'll make the three text layer together the first the second and the last text layer I'll make them together by pressing ctrl shift then selecting the last layer then ctrl G, ctrl e sorry to make them together ctrl e as you can see right now the three of them are on the same layer so for we move forward why not save our work in case our system crash or anything i think that's a, that's one of the step we graphic designer needs to take note of because it affects us a lot you doing the same picture again might not achieve what you've achieved earlier on so you guys should not forget to save your work so let's save it ctrl s i'm going to name it typography typography then i'll hit on my ok to save so once i'm done with that the next thing is for me to on my text layer again as you can see the reflex is on it and the photographer to everything but it's already on the text i wrote earlier on and i don't want that i want to crop out the photographer the i am reflex and also the videographer so for me to correct that what i will do now is just to control click on the image over here on the three text in the layer right now once i control click on it i'll go to my select under my select i'll go to modify then expand so i'm going to be expanding it by six then i click my ok so once i'm done with that i'll go to the other layer the other text layer then i'm going to delete then i click on my ctrl d as you can see it's a little bit better the line you see over here this line over here that's the line we just created right now but the line is still too small we can still go back by clicking on ctrl z ctrl z again then still go back to our select modify then expand this time around let's make it 12 then click ok after we're done with that we still hit our delete key as you can see right now i think the space is a little bit much big right now so we'll click on our ctrl d then we'll match the both layer together this time around by pressing your ctrl e again so we'll go to our desktop or anywhere we drop our picture then drag our picture into photoshop to apply the next stage of needs before we do that guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon to get latest updates about my new videos i'll be doing videos on picture retouching very soon photo retouch put indoor and outdoor color grading and so on and so forth including website design a way for you to design a website without needing to get a domain and a host i'm going to give you a domain and a host free of charge with no coding skills involved so stay tuned subscribe guys and help move the ministry forward so this time around we are going to go to our desktop or whatever location uh, our picture is so we go there and pick up our picture let me look for okay i'll be using this particular picture right now so what i'm going to do now is i'll drag it into photoshop wait for it to load then i'll expand it very very well ctrl t then expand because i want only some i want some parts of the image to show not every part of the image so that's why I'm dragging. You can decide to use a full picture to do your typography. But as for me, I love the dictated area of the face, especially the head, the nose, and the lip. So once I'm done here, I click my enter key. So what I'm going to do now is go to the image layer, then right click on it. Then I'm going to be clipping it, create a clipping max automatically i've created my typography effect but what what am i seeing right now i'm only seeing white 
typography I just added right now is not showing very well. So what am I going to do about it? I'll go to my background layer, then I'll go to my adjustment layer over here, then go for solid color. The brown color is still showing the typography a little bit, but the best color for typography is the black color, as you can see right now. Once I selected my black color, it came up pretty fine, as you can see right now. So I think that's it. You can decide to change the text. On my next video tutorial on typography, I'm going to be manipulating the text, ch changing the fonts, changing the style, changing the white and everything. So stay tuned guys. Please do subscribe to my channel and help move the ministry forward. If you have any question, you can just drop your question in the comment section below and I'll get back to you on that very soon. Thank you guys. Take care. Love you.